वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर यू हाउ टू मेक ब्लड स्मीयर देन हाउ वी विल स्टेन एंड हाउ वी विल रीड इन माइक्रोस्कोप दिस स्टेन आई एम यूजिंग दैट इज जिम्जा स्टेन सो फर्स्ट दिस इज मैथनॉल सेकेंड इज जिम्जा स्टेन एंड थर्ड वन इज बफर वी हैव टू डायलूट द जिम्जा स्टेन विद बफर देन इट्स रेडी टू यूज अदरवाइज डायरेक्टली यू कैन नॉट यू टू स्टेन द स्मीयर and you can see this buffer its ph is 7.01 different brands of buffers are available in market so you can use any brand that is suitable for jimza stain why we are using for jimza stain there are other stain also that can use for blood smear like leishmania stain but jimza stain is best to read for uh, malarial parasite also that's why i will share you jimza stain and methanol we will use to fix the smear and this methanol is very big bottle so we will transfer in small container like urine container any container you can use sterile container and we can use the methanol in that directly it's difficult to handle from the big bottle first i will show you how to make blood smear so i will show you both thick smear and thin smear thick smear like that we will take one drop and just we have to move little in circle round movement and then small smear is ready now there are two methods to make thin smear one is this method you can keep your uh, slide in like that position and move forward towards you and smear is ready you can see this smear nice beautiful tail and body and everything and second method is normal routine method most of you people are already familiar with that method you see this smear also nice so any math any smear making means which method you practice more you can use it's not mandatory that you have to use first method or second method both methods are different but smear will be same only now i will adjust the light so that can show you the smear now you see this thick and thin smears are ready then you have to dry first the smear properly because once the smear is confirmed that it is dry after that only we can fix with uh, methanol now you see this methanol we transferred in small container now with the help of dropper we will put thin smear uh, fix only thin smear now you can see be very careful you should be because thick smear should not be fixed only thin smear we have to fix and then keep on side and let it dry properly and after that we will stain in that time period we will make our buffer i will use 1 is to 9 dilution and with that dilution i will prepare the enamel buffer to prepare that buffer i take one container sterile container now i will add 9 ml uh, buffer if buffer is not available uh, you can use a uh, distilled water but uh, always prefer to use a uh, buffer only because with the buffer stain will come more properly otherwise sometime if any contamination or crystallization will come in smear especially for rbc's morphology it's difficult to read and uh, now we will take 1 ml jimza stain so 9 ml we took buffer and 1 ml we will take jimza stain and we will mix in that buffer and after that our uh, stain is ready to use remaining one will transfer into the water 
this chain also have to use very carefully if it will fall down on cloth or like that it's difficult to remove the stain so now with the help of pipette or dropper or you can move the stain in uh, like eight position then your buffer stain is ready to use like and now you see our slide is dry it is fixed and now we will cover both thick smear and thin smear with the stain and then we will put time watch for 10 minutes if you have time and timer you can put timer for 10 minutes if you do not have timer you can make alarm of 10 minutes on your phone or you can note down from your watch as it's suitable for you no 10 minutes after 10 minutes we will do the washing then washing is very careful procedure especially for thick smear i will show you why first have to drop off or drain the stain then take a glass of water and in this water you can use tap water also it's no problem now just back side of the stain first we will, uh, slide we will wash and then front side only carefully put water on thin smear better don't touch the thick smear I will show you why because if you will touch the thick smear with like flowing water you see you can see some washed smear is washed so to avoid this we will do like that now I will show you with the camera I will move little now you can see like that just you have to dip take out dip take out dip and then your thick smear will be same it will not wash and thin smear also you have to wash carefully if with more pressure or fastly will wash then smear will wash off from the slide so like with flowing water we will wash the thin smear so for thick smear you have to like dip and take out but for thin smear we can wash now let it dry after that when it's slide will be dry then it's ready to read microscopy now blood smears we will read in microscope in 100x microscope uh, sorry oil immersion lens so for that oil immersion lens we will use cedar wood oil you can transfer the oil in any small bottle having a dropper this is rpr uh, bottle now i will take one drop of oil on thin smear and one drop of oil on thick smear uh, you know with phone it's difficult to show you the full feel but I will show you the focusing and how the smears will be seen and then some important fields will show you and then you can read properly now we will fix the slide in microscope and then first keep the lens of 10x because just we have to focus on the field once the field will select after that we can uh, you directly move to 100x and this down condenser we will make full up first make smear in the center and make the condenser up full Now you see with 10x we choose the uh, field this is thick smear and now directly we will move to 100x oil immersion lens. Now I will show you how it is seen. In thick smear now we will see all RBCs are lysed and only WBCs are there and if malarial parasite will be uh, there only parasite will be seen in thick smear and white blood will be seen. Now 
I try to focus. There is malarial parasite, small, small rings. I hope if you can see. Otherwise, I will try to show you some photos in future. For thick smear, now you can see. I will focus again. That in thick smear, you will not find any RBC. Only white blood cells and there are malarial rings. You can see some purple dots. Small with ring this in this field also there is more rings but that are small small very small now you see this is thin smear in thin smear there is malaria parasite there is rbc's there is platelets and there will be wbc's also so this this is the difference between thick smear and thin smear when we will not fix the uh, thick smear so when, what will happen all rbc's will be lies and it will wash but wbc's will not lies and malarial parasite if it's there it will not lies then it's easy to read malarial parasite mostly thick smear why we will use thick smear is only the purpose of thick smear is to find out malarial parasite so otherwise for blood smear reading we need only thin smears for uh, blood film study we need only thin smear now you can see there are malarial rings uh, malarial parasite sorry and rbc's are there so the basic purpose of making of uh, blood smear is uh, there are uh, two purposes uh, first of all to read the blood film to find out any abnormality in the uh, white blood cells red blood cells and platelets and second purpose of making of blood smear is to find out the parasitic infection either it is malarial parasite or any other parasite that infect the blood so this is the basic purpose of uh, making of blood smears and as i told that you can use any other stains also but the for malarial parasite and especially for blood film also and uh, jimsa stain is best to use if you ha don't have jimsa stain then you can move to any other stain but for malarial parasite study must need jimsa stain so i hope this video is now near to complete uh, so I hope now you understand how to make blood smear, how we will use the stain and then how we will set in the microscope. So this video is completed here. I hope this video is very helpful for all of you. I will meet you with new video. If you find, uh, like this video, press the like button and if you find this video useful, uh, useful please tell in comments also. Meet you next time. Thank you so much.